Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to crown a new Combat Jiu-Jitsu World Welterweight Champion, as this is our tournament finale. Please welcome back to the mat, the winner of the left side of the bracket, representing Fight Factory Jiu-Jitsu and Checkmat. It is Andrew Tackett. <laughs> And his opponent, the last man standing on the right side of the bracket. He represents 10th Planet San Mateo. He is the EBI 19 champion. It is Alan Sanchez. <laughs> Your referee for this welterweight championship bout is Master Vic, Victor Davila. Well, here we go. It's all led up to this moment. We've reached the tournament finale of Combat Jiu-Jitsu Worlds 2023, the welterweights. And it's a rematch. Andrew Tackett out of Fight Factory Jiu-Jitsu and Checkmat. Taking on the EBI 19 champion, representing 10th Planet in San Mateo. It is Alan Sanchez, the two men embrace, and we are underway. Keith DeSantis, Brandon McCatherine. Attack it with a takedown early. Right to the takedown. Sanchez tried to lock up his arm and guillotine, but attack it right past the guard, right away, knee to the belly. And now he's on the head. Sanchez pulling back into his half guard. Nice work, getting himself out of that bad spot. Ooh, hard strike right down the pipe. And the crowd here in Playa del Carmen have been supportive of both of these athletes all the way through this tournament. Tackett controlling the leg. Wants to throw that by and try to get an easy guard pass or a strong strike. Sanchez with a nice right hand off the bottom. Tackett looked up at the crowd and smiled. Oh, another great play. Tackett can just fly around the guard so quickly sometimes. Try to go neon belly. All now the way he goes into all the mount. way. A lot of time here for Tackett to work. He's got that, he had that arm exposed. Sanchez able to get it back down. Tackett definitely thinking about this arm triangle here. Two underhooks now for Tackett as he works from the mount. Comes the back exposure. Got to be careful here. Tackett super dangerous from the back as we've already seen. All of his finishes to make it to the final via rear naked choke. And once he gets to the back, he's under the neck, under the chin in a flash. Here comes an arm triangle attempt, trying to get that elbow up above the shoulder line. Sanchez worked himself back into this quarter guard position. Tackett putting a lot of pressure on that elbow, distributing his body weight against the lever at the end of the elbow, trying to get it higher than the line of the shoulder so he can expose him for the arm triangle. Sanchez does a good job, works his arm back in, now back into this quarter guard again, and another easy pass for Tackett. Oh, Darce Ooh. attempt off the bottom for Sanchez. Tackett shrugs it off easily, moves into this side control position. Sanchez working himself back to the guard, and now Armin Guillotine attempt perhaps from Tackett. He's got that chin strap bending the head of Sanchez. Check out that positioning of the right leg of Tackett, putting a lot of pressure on his own leg. Really Tackett. putting down the pressure here is Tackett. Yeah, strong positioning. Again though, Sanchez able to save it, holding on to this quarter guard. Mm. 
Now all the way into the mount goes Tackett. Again, threatening this arm triangle. Now starting to dig that chin up underneath the arm. Puts the gable grip together. Sanchez is turned to face it. He's got his head facing the right direction. It's going to make it hard to finish that arm triangle. He's probably going to get this elbow free as long as he can continue to look in the direction of the arm triangle. There it goes, frees the elbow. Nice survival work off the bottom by Sanchez. But Tackett just relentless from this mount position. You know, really for the first time tonight, Sanchez forced to fight someone else's style of fight. He's been the aggressor and been very effective thus far, but so far in this matchup, it's all Tackett. Tackett postures up, throws a couple of strikes, forces the back exposure, body triangle is on. Tackett so dangerous here. Cross grip now. Sanchez trying to work himself out of this back position, but Tackett working that cross grip, wants to get the trap going on the arm. Halfway point here of regulation. Now this arm triangle upcoming here. This is a better attempt. But again, though, Allen able to turn and face Bridge towards the arm triangle. It's going to keep him alive. And there he goes, freeing the elbow again. Good survival of the onslaught of William Tackett. Hands on the hips. And now Sanchez back to the guard and back to the feet. And both athletes call for the crowd, knuckle up in the middle, and here we go again. The crowd here in Playa del Carmen appreciating what they're seeing and Tackett going back to that takedown. Stands over Sanchez. Sanchez keeping his hands up around his head, making sure he keeps his guard up and his face protected. Ooh, that one got through. Quick left hand by Tackett. Half guard for Sanchez as Tackett works into the top position. Gets the gable grip and he gets this knee slice going. Sanchez saves it. Tries to pull him into the rubber guard. Nothing going. Tackett very aware. Very active, wily open guard from Alan Sanchez. Now a double underpass, a lot of pressure from Tackett. Pushes his way through into side control. Steps all the way over towards the mount. Sanchez tried to save it with a butterfly hook. Nice play by Alan Sanchez to save that mount attempt. Chin strap though from Tackett, he bails on it. Coming up, attacking the Darce. Sanchez able to move, gets free. Three minutes remain here. In regulation, again, this is our championship bout. Winner gonna walk out with CJJ welterweight gold. Tackett really leading the dance for this entire match so far. Allen tried a little slide by, but nothing happening. Tackett been able to get two easy takedowns so far though. Overhook, and Sanchez wants to get back to his guard. You saw that, he tried that overhook, he threw that foot in the middle, thought about pulling him down into the guard. Clash of heads. Underhook, and now Sanchez pulls guard. Knee slice, working for Tackett, and he's all the way through the guard again. Just slicing through the guard of Alan Sanchez multiple times now. Eight down, two to go here. If you're just joining us, this is our tournament finale. Andrew Tackett taking on the EBI champion and Alan Sanchez. Ooh. Strikes off the bottom by Sanchez. Did a good job recovering back to his guard. Open guard now and another quick knee slice attempt by Tackett, controlling the ankles. De La Hiva for Sanchez. Down to the K guard, enters the legs. 
Ooh, nice right hand, finds a home for Tackett. Tackett very comfortable in those leg lock exchanges. Sanchez lands a nice strike as Tackett slices through the guard again. We are now inside the final minute of regulation. Tackett testing the will of Alan Sanchez, dragging him into this long match and forcing him to play defense this whole time. And that could really be a factor if they end up pushing through into this overtime with only 40 seconds left to go. And we talk about Sanchez already an EBI champion. You know, the ability to endure, sustain, and survive is what champions are made of. You're going to have to call upon that championship heart to sort of reverse the momentum and make this regulation be different than what he needs overtime to be. Um, again, that knee slice. So clean and efficient by Andrew Tackett. Final 10 seconds of regulation. Able to get a guard back is Sanchez. Goes rubber guard. Couple strikes here to end regulation. 10 minutes in the books. We go to overtime to crown a welterweight king. So Sanchez able to hold Tackett off from the submission, but he did find himself on the receiving end of an onslaught of offense by Andrew Tackett. Let's see if that plays into how this overtime round goes down. Tackett will start on the back first. Jockeying for position before they start. Underway here, Tackett on the back of Sanchez to start the top Ooh, of the Sanchez first. with a quick movement to get his back free. Tackett starts to save it, he does. Oh man, what a save by Tackett. Sanchez made a great play. Quickly creating a disconnection between the chest and back, but he wasn't able to rotate all the way out. Tackett comes in, saves it. Body triangle now for Andrew Tackett. Sanchez trying to slip off the other way. Gotta be careful here if you're Sanchez. Tackett super dangerous. And here goes another movement by Sanchez to try to free himself from the back connection. Good body triangle work by Andrew Tackett. Sanchez had enough of that mouthpiece. He launches it. Yeah, I wouldn't think we're going to find that one. I wonder if Sanchez isn't showing some frustration here. Was really controlled in that regulation. Looked like maybe he was going to get free early in the top of this first overtime, but Tackett was able to make the adjustment and that clock just starting to add up more and more for Andrew Tackett on this ride. Yeah, I don't know if it's frustration from Sanchez as much as it is the need to breathe. Right, sure. That mouthpiece can really hinder your breathing, especially when you're just dying to get any bit of air you can. That body triangle crushing down on your diaphragm. Not to mention there's no strikes here in overtime either. Correct. But there are attempts at crushing your teeth out in That's overtime. True. That seems to be when you need the mouthpiece the most. 50 seconds. 10 seconds. Final moments here in this overtime. It's about to oh, max out. Check that out. Sanchez started to slip off, and he wanted to pull that elbow back across, but Tackett took his left hand and posted on the back of the elbow to stop Sanchez from being able to free that elbow and spin out. And he gets a max ride time. That's big. It's very big. So now bottom of the first, Alan Sanchez on the back of Andrew Tackett. We talk about that ride time. It'd all be for naught if Sanchez were able to pull off a submission here in the bottom of the first. This is good control now for Sanchez. Really finding him. Oh, look at that. Slips the body triangle in. Good control by Sanchez. He's a phenomenal back player in his own right. Tackett trying to slip out. And keeping that body triangle, keeping that back connection is Alan Sanchez. Trying to work. Oh, got to be careful there. 
Now, if you were Alan Sanchez here, BMAC, I mean, what do you prioritize here? Going for the stoppage and the finish or just trying to even the score as much as you can by accruing more ride time? Well, Sanchez thinking about trying. Oh! I think we know what his mindset is. Oh, my! Could this be it, TJ? Oh, attack it, able to survive. Woo! Did you just hear that? Everyone in this room knew exactly what was happening. He's out of there. Wow, high stakes jujitsu on display. This unfolding in front of a crowd, unlike any other I've seen consume a combat jujitsu match, tournament. Very special place to be here in Playa del Carmen. And now we find ourselves at the top of the second. Tackett back on offense. Tackett again able to say, oh, here goes Sanchez making the rotation. Man, Tackett's back control is just so good. Sanchez is doing what he needs to do to create some separation, but he's just not able to make the rotation. Every time he does, Tackett controlling with those double unders to save the position. Using that underhook to great effect. And Sanchez just can't rotate out of that body triangle. Phenomenal control by Tackett. Sanchez doing everything in his power to try to shake him out of there, but nothing happening so far. Halfway through the top of the second now, one down, one to go. Again, we saw Tackett max out that ride time in the top of the first. So absolutely no question who's up when it comes to the ride time, and that's, that's Andrew Tackett. Nice play by Sanchez there to kick that body triangle free. There's the rotation. Now he's flattened out. Oh, belly down. Starting to rotate. And again, Tackett saves it. I'm so impressed by the back control of Tackett. 20 seconds. 15 seconds. Double underhooks by Andrew Tackett. Body triangle. Five seconds. Maxing out this ride time. Two oh. rounds in a row. Second time in a row, as you mentioned, B Mac, that the ride time maxes out. So you got to believe for Alan Sanchez, he really has two opponents here. One tack it to the clock. But Sanchez got a pretty decent look at a rear naked choke in his portion of the overtime in round one. And he does have the benefit of being in the bottom half of overtime, meaning if he secures a submission, that's a wrap. It's done. Tackett committing his hand to push down on the leg. Got to be careful with that. We saw in that Ian Butler match that, that really backfired on him. And Sanchez again working this arm in choke from the back. That's quite a bit of pressure. I mean, that's a real submission. It's not real common. Right. But it is real. Tackett, very aware of what's going on, and here it is. Oh, man, he's going to try to lock that in. Oh, this is, oh, man, I thought that one was getting pretty tight for a second. You kind of saw the expression on the face of Tackett change a bit there. But as soon as it started to look that way, it was all, already gone. Strong body triangle by Sanchez. Back control looking pretty good. <laughs> look at Tackett has the fingers interlaced. I mean, it would be an incredibly long road to get there, but if Sanchez is able to max this ride timeout and then max the third ride timeout, theoretically, if he escapes early, he could still win on time, but again, that's a very long road to get to. And, and he's shown, honestly, no signs of being able to escape the back control of Tackett. And here goes Tackett starting to spin out. Saving it, saving it, They're saving it. There's the elbow. The wow. Tackett able to get free. And again, I don't have the math in front of me, but you got to believe that uh, ride time, not something that Sanchez could win at this point. 
We are headed to the top of the third. Tackett back on offense and again riding the back of Alan Sanchez. Well, if Sanchez can make a quick escape here, there's still opportunity for a, a win via ride time, but he's going to have to get busy real quick because Sanchez did develop a minute in the first overtime. He had a minute and a half in the second, but he's versus two minutes twice for Tackett. So he's behind by about 90 seconds, I would say. Making the adjustment here is Tackett staying on the ride. Tackett's back control is just next level. Back yeah, to that body, body triangle. triangle. Sanchez kicking that body triangle free. And again, saving it is Tackett. Every time it looks like Sanchez is starting to clear some space, Tackett finds a way to save it, either with the double underhooks or with a little claw grip on the neck to pull him back in. And this is quickly becoming a thing where Sanchez is going to have to finish in his portion of the third overtime. And while Tackett puts away essentially the clock and the hope of that ride time being a thing for Sanchez, you got to also believe that this is wearing on the EBI champion as well. He's going to go on offense, but I mean, this has got to be tiring surviving in there with Tackett. Well, he had to survive 10 minutes before we even got to the That's overtime. That's true. It was an onslaught by Tackett in regulation. He's going to max this ride time out three times in a row. And Sanchez is good in overtime. So right. This is even more impressive considering that fact. Ride time maxed once again. Andrew Tackett. All he will have to do is get free or just wait. As well, long as he doesn't get submitted, Tackett will still win that one. Sanchez will have the full two minutes in front of him if he can keep the position to attempt to finish this thing, but he has to finish. Right. He elects to take the back. Are you surprised there? No, he's, he's done well from the back. He's Here got, we go, bottom of the third underway. He's gotten a couple of decent looks on Tackett. Oh, Tackett's starting to spin. Here he goes. Arm still He's out of there! It. it is done. Andrew Tackett dominates in overtime. He wins four matches, and he is now the Combat Jiu-Jitsu World Welterweight Champion. What a performance. Andrew Tackett, the young man, 19 years old, coming all the way down to Playa del Carmen to set this crowd on fire. And honestly, BMAC, he's getting his hand raised. He's going to be the last man to get his hand raised on what might be the greatest combat jiu-jitsu card we've ever seen. I don't think there's any question about it, TJ. Absolutely the best combat jiu-jitsu event of all time. And Andrew Tackett is going to walk out of here as the champion. Let's go ahead and make this one official. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to overtime and quickest escape time to crown our winner. He is now the new Combat Jiu-Jitsu World Welterweight Champion, Andrew Tackett. Tackett with the belts, a big night for him here in Playa del Carmen. BMAC, walk us through. Well, it was just the phenomenal back control of Tackett that led him to this victory. Sanchez, we know he's a great overtime player, but every time that he started to slip out and create just a little bit of space, Tackett able to come in and save it, utilizing the double underhooks, utilizing the claw grip on the back of the neck, and now posing out in the center of the mat with Eddie Bravo, Victor Davila, and the UFC champion, Brandon Moreno. We're gonna kick it over to TJ DeSantis. He's gonna get an interview with our new welterweight champion, 
It is Andrew Tackett. All right, I'm here with your winner, the new welterweight champion, Andrew Tackett. It was a night of really well-rounded performances to get it done. Let's talk, though, about the finale. You took out the EBI 19 champ and Alan Sanchez. Riding, you know, overtime out, maxing that ride time, that says something. I think you not only sent a message to everyone here tonight, but anyone that might be trying to take this belt away from you in the future. Muchos gracias, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for this victory. I couldn't have done it without you, Jesus. You're the best. Let's go. But, uh, but yeah, I, uh, you know, this was a freaking tough bracket. Alan Sanchez, he beat me back at Emerald City two years ago. So to beat him felt really good and nothing but respect to him. He's a great athlete. I just want to thank the crowd. You guys are amazing. The energy you bring to this stadium is like none other. You guys are awesome. Let's go. You talk about that previous meeting with Sanchez, this a different rule set being combat jiu-jitsu. Did that change your, your mindset and how you attacked him tonight? Um, most definitely, you know. I know Alan Sanchez is very hard to submit and he does very tricky attacks. So I was just trying to keep the distance. And once I got past his guard, I just wanted to smother him just so I didn't give up any submission on my own. But at the end of the day, I wanted to put on a performance. So I couldn't stall for too long. I had to make some scrambles happen and try to slap him, get slapped. It was all for you guys and Jesus. Let's go, guys. Woo! We've seen a youth movement in jiu-jitsu. You're just 19 years old. You're now the combat jiu-jitsu world welterweight champion. You know, you can really do anything you want to, but what are you going to do next? Um, I got a tournament in Maine. I'm going to be teaching a seminar and fighting out there. Then after that, I have a possible super fight on who's number one. After that, I'm going to be trying to do whatever comes my way. You know, the sky's the limits for me right now. I'm young. I'm healthy. I'm training every day. So whatever comes my way, whoever calls me out, I'm ready. You know, I'm, I'm in the best shape I've been in in my life. So I'm very ready for whatever comes. Well, the king has been crowned. He is your welterweight champion. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, for Andrew Tackett.